how are you doing and I'm expecting my two weekly shopping um, I've decided to use Tesco's so I have the Tesco's app on my tablet <laughs> So I've got the Tesco's app on my tablet and uh, it's telling me when my delivery is and it says the driver's on the road. So it's handy having the app. I booked it for 11 to 3. They said my shopping was becoming between 2 and 3. So it is at the moment 9 minutes past 2. And the driver is on his way. So we're just waiting. So we're just waiting for the Tesco's lorry and to, for, for my buzzer to go off. wouldn't believe how incredibly cold it's got um, I'm not wearing this in my flat obviously I've just put the heating on it's got incredibly cold all the windows are shut and everything but it's really chilly in here at the moment it's 19 degrees Max was snuggled up on the chair. Can't see the Tesco's lorry yet. According to this app, he's near the travel lodge. I think he's got held up because now it's saying, I think he's got held up a bit with, with the app saying he's been outside the travel lodge for about the five minutes. And they've now um, said that they're coming between 2.16. So, this is the reason why I don't go down the stairs. If you believe these apps, right, and you take them literally, I would have gone down the stairs or something, because I have to go downstairs to let the guy into the building, into the lift. <sighs> he can't come up to my front door 
and I have to go downstairs which is a pain in the butt but it has to be done Um, basically I had a chat with my mum this morning I rang my mum up and had a word with my mother and she was having some trouble about the TV license and um, I've told her to call me back if she gets any trouble apparently some guys are going to come out to my mum's flat uh, because apparently she hasn't paid the TV license and she hasn't had a TV set for seven months. Uh, she's nearly 80 and as you know the government stopped the uh, free um, TV license for the elderly. Um, so I've said to my mum, give me your paperwork and I'll sort it out. But um, you know what, my mum is stubborn. She's stubborn, so I don't know what to do at the moment. I've told her to give me a ring if she has any problems. <coughs> you know, she's 78. She's 78. And um, she's um, on her own. She's got a next door neighbour that comes in and helps her. But obviously, you, you know, they... I don't know when they stopped the elderly people's TV licence, which is criminal. And we all know what's going on with the BBC. It's absolutely ridiculous. So my mum's had a letter saying that the TV licence people are coming round and she could get a caution. So she's terrified. I tried to calm her down. And of course, I didn't know this because she didn't tell me until I rang her up on the phone this morning and I've had to, I ordered this shopping about two or three days ago. So I've had to stay in my flat and wait for this shopping to arrive. So my mum hasn't called me so far, so I'll check up on her later on. But I did tell her if she had any problem with them to call me or call the police. So uh, we'll see what happens. The TV licence people, the TV licence people say my mum owes over £100 and she hasn't had a working TV set for seven months. She, we, you know, her carer um, stopped her pension credit and stopped her housing benefit because of my, the, the money my, my dad left. And now she, she, it's all gone, so she needs to be put back on... Uh, pension credit and housing benefit and she's absolutely terrified um so we're, we're just waiting to see because i know people you know blokes like that they could uh, you know debt collectors can be thugs you know thugs and she's she, she's elderly and a bit and i'm not saying she's confused or anything she's got her mind and everything but you know, these people are criminals themselves, badgering old ladies for a bit of money. So, if you 
went for this Tesco uh, lorry. Is it now? Where is the lorry now? It's, he's, it says he's here. It says the Tesco lorry's here. Literally just wait, waiting for the buzzer to ring. So, so now I, I would have gone up to see my mum or something. I, I had to wait in for this. It's gone up a bit, 19 and a half degrees. This is my just my shopping that I get every two weeks. You know, I stock up on like the washing up liquid, the bit, bits and pieces like that, and shampoo, conditioner. This is just to top up everyday items, water, milk, bread. And we all know it doesn't last very long and we have to top it up again with bits and pieces when we can afford it. But the, I, I don't get a, a, this every week, this is every two weeks. driver gone over to another block of flats with a cat with a crate but I don't know if that's for me it might be for somebody else and it might be a different lorry so um, let's see Someone's had some shopping delivered opposite, not right opposite, up that way. This is a bit worrying. It says my shopping, my lorry driver is at my flats and my shopping hasn't come yet. So let's see. 222. Tesco lorry parked up the road and the driver's got a driver's gone into the opposite block of flats and it's not mine. <sighs> Let 
that might be somebody else having a Tesco delivery. You see, that it might be someone else having a Tesco delivery. It might be delivering to two lots of people. So we'll see. He's probably coming down here next. Yep, he's probably coming down here next. It hasn't been delivered yet. There's a there's a, a lady, not opposite, right opposite, but the next block of flats to the left of that one has just had a delivery. Driver's still there. So we've got till quarter to two. I'll update you in a moment. Mm -hmm. 